Good morning, traders. Welcome to today's market review. This is Fred Razak at CM Trading. Today is September 8th, 2022, and today is Thursday morning. So looking at the highlights of today, oil tanks to $82 a barrel. But first, looking at the major economic events of today. So starting out at 2.15 South African time out of the European Union, we have a main refinancing rate coming out. And then at 3.10, South African time out of the United States. Chairman Powell will be speaking. So this should shake the markets. Now looking at the markets in general, starting out with the Forex symbols, we're watching the Australian dollar and the British pound both on their lows while pretty much the euro is unchanged. Looking at the indices, the Dow Jones did bounce nicely yesterday. And looking at commodities, gold bounces while oil tanks and looking at stocks mostly higher and rebounding. And lastly, looking at cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin just really unchanged, but at the bottom of the range. So let's take a look at the markets and see what we can expect from today's trading. So we're gonna cover the EURUSD first, just because major news coming out on it later today. Now we're at the top of that range, okay? For all intents and purposes, we're trading at 99.90, where we've seen a low of 98.73, so about 100 pips off of our low, a little bit more. But nevertheless, we're at the top of the range. So what we're looking for is either a breakout on the upside with positive news after this, this refinancing rate or negative news as consequences to what's looming for Europe in the next three to six months. Now, looking at some of the other major forex symbols, First, looking at the GBP USD on its lows, not making any sort of highs, just barely bouncing about 10 to 20 pips, not really doing much. And the Australian dollar making a double bottom here at that 67. Now, if it does break it, then we are looking at a further correction into the 65 ish range. Okay, so this is something really just to pay attention to because the Australian dollar has been the strongest one versus the dollar. So if it does weaken up, that's something to consider in the next trading session. Now looking at gold, gold did bounce yesterday from 1700 to 1715. Not a big bounce, but did bounce. So it's a little bit resistant to break that support on the lower end. Now looking at crude oil, look at that tankage, look at that nosedive, going from $86 down to $82, a big whoop move. Okay, now we haven't seen this type of move so quite some time to be in this area. We haven't been in this area since November of 21. Now we're breaching a previous resistance, which we would think that there's support here. Now if it does breaches 80, then we could go see go back to the $63 range. Believe it or not, I know, it's kind of crazy to think that, but as we're correcting this, remember, we're going into the big months of the winter in the Northern Hemisphere, which is 80 to 70% of the consumption in the world. So I'm not so keen that it's gonna necessarily you know get to that $60 range now looking at the indices the Dow Jones did bounce nicely yesterday okay you could see that kind of like a short squeeze as it went to 31,600 ish level if you look at the Nasdaq also did bounce about 300 points now looking at the individual stocks it's kind of a mixed bag if we look at Microsoft it bounced a little bit if we look at Apple it bounced a little bit okay if we look at Alcoa didn't okay so we're getting a mix back and facebook back on the lower part of its range at that 55 dollar range but we're trading at 160 right now so this is a mixed bag okay in mixed bag kind of circumstances you're looking for the leader and there right now is no leader to lead us down or to lead us up so we're just trading in a range really as we're consolidating on the lower part of it now lastly looking at bitcoin not doing much as well. I mean, we did bounce a little bit yesterday from our 18,500-ish level to 19,500, which is a thousand point bounce. But again, it was trading at that bottom range. So we did say, you know, not so irresponsible to pick it up on that side, but it is testing it more and more. So if it's testing it more and more, it's more inclined to break it. So it's a little bit less of a probability to play to by that bottom range as it's really testing those lows once again. So as we go into today's session and tomorrow's session, just be aware there's lots of news coming out still as the markets are digesting September trading into the next two, two to three weeks. This is Fred Razak. I want to wish you guys a great trading day. Thank you.